I'm Steven Harrell from Tiny House Listings and today I'm going to show you how to build a do-it-yourself thermal mass heater out of this cast iron skillet. Stay tuned. I found that the old timers way back in the 1800s who first started using these cast iron skillets and also the cast iron wood stones knew what they were doing because I, when I cook with one of these things, um, I can make my breakfast in it, have a few cups of coffee, eat my breakfast, and come back and this thing's still very hot, Some, sometimes too hot to even touch the handle. And so it'll hold heat for a long time. The reason these old skillets hold heat so well is because the material is so dense and so heavy that once it, takes, once it gets up to heat, it takes a long time to actually get back down to heat, back to room temperature. The concept behind the heater that we'll be building in this video is similar to the clay pot video that I did a few weeks ago and made its rounds around the internet with a, a lot of people giving it a try um, where it used candle heat to heat up and this this heater we're using that we'll be building will use candles as well however it'll be made out of much more dense material and use the thermal mass idea much more um, so what will happen is we'll take this skillet and we'll place these fire bricks that I got, I got off Craigslist for free they're made out of clay and um, I got a bunch of these from, from Craigslist and the guy gave them to me and I use them to um, build an oven with where I bake bread and I also um, make pizzas in it. And it takes a long time to get these up to heat but when they do it takes literally hours for them to get back down to heat. So these have very very good heat um, maintaining properties as well as the skillet. So it'll be interesting to see if these candles can get this material up to heat and keep it there. I haven't really seen anyone do this yet or try anything like this before so the whole project is a bit of an experiment so here we go I um, took an old towel that I had from a leftover project and just placed it on the floor then I'm gonna take this aluminum pail um, that you can get from the home improvement store for a couple bucks it's an aluminum pail that you put paint in uh, that painters you know just dip their paintbrush into then I um, drilled holes all around the bottom and you want to make sure I can already even though I haven't done this before I know from experience with other similar projects that you want to make sure you drill the holes at the bottom that way the heat will not escape out if you drill holes at the top the heat would escape out the top before it hits the skillet which is going to be here for those of you that didn't see my previous video with the clay pot heater or similar ones to it um, for this one we'll be using tea lights to heat up the skillet and um, you can get these by the hundred a pack I think for like three or four bucks from Ikea that's the cheapest place I've found to get these Then we'll top it off with a lid to keep all the heat in. As you can see the surface temp was 64 degrees when we first started. Alright, we're at about the 10 minute mark. Let's see what we got. 74 degrees. All right, now we're at about the 20 minute mark. Let's see what we got. 82 degrees, 83. Now we're at about the 30 minute mark. Let's see what we get. We're up to about 103 degrees. All right, we're at about the 45 minute mark. Let's see what we got. We're at about 118. So the temperature continues to rise. We'll keep monitoring it and see how it does. This thing's been cranked up about an hour now. Let's see where we're at. 141 degrees. Wow. One thing I forgot to mention, which is probably self-explanatory, is whenever you're dealing with open flames like this, be very careful and, of course, do so at your own risk. To give you an idea how hot this thing's starting to become, um, the bricks outside had water in them because they're exposed to rain and all that stuff. So when you take the top off, you can see they're steaming actually crackling holy crap okay the whole setup's been cranked up for just over two hours let's see where we're at 164 
64 degrees. So just in about two hours, um, the, the candles have heated up the whole setup for just over um, 100 degrees. When you point to the side of this um, heater, you're at over, over 205 degrees. So this thing is cranking out serious heat. And you got to remember that um, on the inside of this is nothing but pure clay brick. And the outside is cast iron. So it's going to retain a lot of heat for a long time. My final thoughts on this heater is that it's a much more viable option and it produces much more heat than the clay pot solution. Um, and just in two hours, the whole setup, the pot, has increased in temperature over 100 degrees. It's um, hovering actually close now to 170 degrees. And it's producing heat down here, up here, all around. Even the handle's producing heat. And it's very, very hot. It'll stay hot for a long time. Right now, uh, the temperature is 45 degrees outside. And in here it is about, let's see if we can tell, 60 to 61 degrees. So that's a, a temperature change of about 16 degrees from outside to inside. And you got to remember this room is uninsulated. So I honestly think this room would, this heater solution is enough to heat up a small space that's insulated very efficiently. I'm Stephen Harrow with Tiny House Listings. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.